Hello, hello. I'm trying to even see what my background looks like today. I'm in a new location. So I'm, what is a badass activator or a conscious creator? I want to address this today because for years now, I have actually run groups that are totally designed for conscious creators and badass activators. And what I've found is that there's people that I work with and certainly in myself that are either on one side or the other. So you either identify, so I'm curious to hear in the comments and um, if you're here, I'd love to hear what you feel most connected to, conscious creator or badass activator. The reason why I have both of these is that I find for myself, I am both a badass activator and a conscious creator. So I'm super, like basically what this means is as a conscious creator, you are dedicated and committed to conscious living, conscious business, being as conscious as you can in this life, right? Like waking up. So I've got a whole series that's called Wake Up With Willow and it's really about staying conscious and present, right? Like doing this work, being willing to look at what's not working. Um, and, and also those of us who are conscious creators, you're usually very creative. You are serving people. You might have a gift coming through and so you're serving people with your gifts and really being able to be someone I'm like loving seeing some of these names. Hi, ladies. So great to see you. Loving, um, you know, serving people in the world. And so as a conscious creator, you're, you know, it's, I was even having this conversation with someone last night who wants to, he loves like alkaline water. And so he really wants to get into potentially doing more alkaline water things. And I was like, please just don't do it with like more plastic bottles in the world. And so we got into like, you know, showing him that there's now these like reusable bottles that actually create alkaline water. And that's being a conscious creator, being someone that you might have these brilliant ideas and these things that are coming through, but you want to be conscious about it. You want to make sure that you're being kind and thoughtful to other people, the planet, and you're being conscious about it. Being an, a badass activator, and the reason why I have both is that while I am super conscious and absolutely love making sure that I'm doing my best work, really like taking care of people and loving on the earth and loving on people and doing all that, I'm also like totally driven. I love making it happen. I'm someone who is an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur for 16 years and I love to, yeah, like activate, like just go out there and unapologetically go for it. And I bring a lot of that energy to my clients and to the work that I do with um, the awesome entrepreneurs I have the pleasure of working with. So it's that energy too, that is really the big piece in that. So it's like this badass activator energy. They're these, you know, entrepreneurs that are going for it, you know, that they're absolutely not giving up and they're not settling for less that, you know, you're somebody that is absolutely wanting to go for it you've got this big vision and this message coming through and with you know it's like nothing can stop you right and it's that unstoppable feeling that like let's go for this and it requires a lot of focus a lot of you know self-care certainly because if you are actually committed to showing up every single day and really like making it happen and doing what you want to do then you've got to be taking care of yourself yeah, badass activator and conscious creator's clothing. I love it, right? Yeah, let that badass activator out, Shashi. It's okay. Yeah, I really, it's, that's an interesting thing, right, too, because I think, especially when we get into, like, identity, right, and how we identify ourselves and, and who we are. Um, so, you know, I definitely have this side of me that's like super hippie and really loving. And, you know, I'm like from Colorado originally, which I see Katie is on here and, um, you know, being born and raised in Colorado, like I, I think that's where a lot of my conscious, thankfully, right. I'm like, you know, and my name's Willow for Christ's sake. Right. So it's like, I'm very, I feel like grounded in that way, very connected to the earth and connected to um, just wanting to be a kind and good person in my life and do the best I can. And then, yeah, the badass activator is like, I think that, you know, if you are really, really determined to get something out and you know how important it is to get your gift into the world, you recognize that you've absolutely got to go for it. And it requires, you know, a lot of determination and a lot of drive and a lot of persistence to keep showing up, to keep showing up for yourself and your big ideas and all the things that want to come through. 
So I'm really curious to have you guys um, share, like Shashi did, share, you know, what, how are you identifying with these phrases, the, the conscious creator or the badass activator? Um, in particular, I want to make sure you guys all know that if you are entrepreneurs, conscious entrepreneurs, and you're wanting support on your path, that I've revived my, my badass activators and conscious creators group. I've actually had this for a number of years, but I was really busy with my other small group coaching programs, and now I am writing a book. And I'm just so like, I really want to just open the doors to supporting as many people as possible on doubling down on your genius, really just thriving as a conscious creator in this life, being a badass activator, you know, making it happen, like really being dedicated and focused to what you're wanting to create in this sweet life. So I will put a link in the comments here for that um, badass activators and conscious creators group. Make sure that you fill out the questionnaire. A lot of people just like skip right past it and I would really love to make sure that you um, fill out the questionnaire it helps me know a little bit about you and it makes sure that everyone in the community is participating and so you showing me that you're participating in that first questionnaire they're very very simple questions um, you will not be graded and um, I love it so Deborah yeah wanting to be more badass too shy and nervous and I so get that right and this is actually a piece which I love supporting people through. So a lot of people, especially if you're building your businesses online, it can seem these days, right, that you have to be such a big personality and that you have to be so willing to do it. And I actually serve and support a lot of introverts, a lot of people that, you know, are shy and nervous. And this is really, really super normal. And so, you know, number one, you can still be a badass activator and be shy and nervous. And and then also there's something to be said for, and this is a lot of what I help with my clients. Sorry, I'm holding this today if it's a little bit wobbly. Um, I don't have my, my regular setup. Um, but that this can be a muscle that you're strengthening, right? And so this is a lot of the work I do with my clients that they might feel um, nervous. I mean, all of us run some level of anxiety about putting ourselves out there, right? It can be very vulnerable and very scary. And so, um, you know, ultimately that's a big part of what I help and support my clients with. And it can be these small little baby steps. Also, what's so important in there that I'll just say is that this is not about you square peg, round hole, and like, meaning like doing what you feel like you should do or that you have to do. I am all about having it be really, really aligned for you. So making sure that you're being a badass activator in the way that's aligned for you. I mean, honestly, like showing up to the page every day and writing, that is being a badass activator. So even, you know, you can be as shy and nervous of, as you want. You don't have to be like speaking in public or going on video or anything if you really don't want to. Um, but you showing up, you bravely and courageously showing up to the gifts that are coming through you, the big ideas that you have, um, the ways that you're wanting to impact the world and and this sweet life that you have, right? All the opportunity that you have to create an impact. All of that takes courage and it takes moxie and it takes persistence and it takes, you know, being a badass activator. So, um, but I love that, that you even want to be more badass and that you're really wanting to like even ignite that energy in yourself because it's, it's so possible and it's right there. And what I love seeing is when my clients and I work to align it so that it's still coming from them. I mean, it has to, right? It has to come from your natural wellspring. So I love supporting that and thank you for commenting there. I would love to hear what everyone else, um, you know, kind of identifies with just as a poll. I'm really curious. And if you just even say both, that's fine. Um, but just kind of wanting to get a sense of, of that. Regardless, I would love to have you in the group. If you're feeling called to be supported, if you are an entrepreneur and um, have been following for a while and really want to have some other juicy stuff, I'll be doing more and more in the group. And so um, I love doing these lives here. And I'm also really excited to do some like more safe container stuff in the group, which will be fun. Like we'll be able to do some Q and A's and um, there's a lot of activity already in there right now. So would love to see you over there. And if you have any questions or comments or anything for me anytime, since I am doing these lives regularly, I would love to answer them. Please let me know how I can support you at any time. And I hope you're having a wonderful evening or day wherever you are. Mwah! Lots of love.